Hi, you guys. Good morning. And I need to put this facing me. Hi, you guys. Good morning and welcome to my Tuesday live. So as usual, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to tune in before I start my live. It is Tuesday and I'm already starting to see you guys um, tuning in. Good morning, orchids and gardens. All right, so you guys are tuning in quickly. So let me get this started. Hi, Danielle, you finally caught it. Good morning. All right, you guys. Hi, Charlotte. You guys, I have so many things to talk about today. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, everybody. And I'm actually out here a little bit earlier um, than last week. Sorry, you know, I have to get ready for work. So I have to just, you know, hurry up with my makeup on and then um, actually sit down here. So um, today's uh, live chat, um, I want to discuss a few things um, that's going on, a few things that are going on out on my... Good morning, Charles. Good morning, Loli. Wow, good morning, you guys. Good morning. It's finally not raining today in South Florida. Isn't that, I, you know, isn't that wonderful? I love the rain, but lately it's crazy. It's like I have to build an ark or something out here. It's, it's so much rain. So it is really humid and it's, um, it's kind of hot, uh, but at least it's not raining. So I wanna share with you guys a few things. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna share with you guys my new orchids because I know everybody loves to see uh, what I got. Uh, if you didn't see the last video I posted, um, which is uh, the video that uh, has information about my giveaway when I went to Carib, um, and you, if you haven't seen that, I did get some new things. And yes. Um, I did get some new things that I want to share with you guys. So you guys, this is the spike of my Schamburkia. <laughs> it's so big. So this one's eventually going to go on my, on my oak tree or somewhere out in my yard because I can't even imagine having um, this, humongous, um, this humongous orchid blooming in my patio. So let me just show you guys really quick <clears throat> what, it, what it looks like. And if you didn't see that video, um, here it is. So this is my Schamburkia MYC Grandiflora. And I finally have her in bloom. I have, um, I have some Schamburkias out in my yard that have never bloomed for me. And I know, Charles, you told me, you told me they get this big. So look at this. Hi, Vimushka. You finally made it to my live. I'm so happy. All right, so this spike is huge. And look at that. I, am, I can't wait to put it out on my, on my oak tree but it has these beautiful blooms. This one, mm -mm, this one doesn't smell at all. At all, no, it doesn't smell at all. Not even a hint of anything. It's, sorry, and if I keep moving out of the camera is because this is so big and I don't wanna break it. All right, so let me show you her blooms. How beautiful are these fuchsia and orange blooms? Look at that. They are amazing. So this is gonna go on my palm or on my, um, this is gonna go on my oak tree uh, very, very soon. Probably, you know what? I think I'm gonna wait for the fall is when um, I was told it was the best time to attach them, but we'll see. Fall or sometime, sometime before then. So I got that one. I got another um, hybrid, which you know what? I have it all the way over there. I'm not gonna bring it. It doesn't have any flowers or anything, but I got another hybrid um, of the Brassavola and I got a huge, let me show you, I got this huge um, driftwood, which look at how big it is. I can't wait to mount that. So it's either gonna go, it's either gonna go like on this wall or somewhere around it. Um, obviously, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in my yard because you know, as you know, I have many, uh, many oak trees and many trees out there. So I don't think I have a need for that, an another piece of wood out there. So I'll probably put it in here and kind of like decorate it and, and stuff like that. I'm very excited. All right, so that's what I got. Now I do have, um, I do have um, some new blooms that I want to share with you. You guys always get a sneak peek on what's blooming uh, before my update. So you guys, look at how pretty. My first um, mini fowl that blooms for me. Now this is a Phalaenopsis. This is a Gigabell, which is um, it's a hybrid between the Gigantia and the Bellina. And I got this orchid in January. And when I got it, it had like a tiny little, it had a tiny little spike that just didn't grow at all. And then it just started growing and growing. And then finally I got a bloom. So these are super slow growers. They grow in the summer and it smells really good. 
This one has smell. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, it's like a citrus, but like, like a citrus. I, I can't describe what kind of smell it has, but it's like a citrusy smell and look, it's so pretty. So I have two of them. Look at my two little, my two little Giga Bells. Aren't they pretty? What I love most are these leaves. I mean, look at those shiny leaves. They're huge, they're shiny. I don't like to water these with my wall water because if you haven't noticed, um, everything in my yard kind of gets that, that white residue. So I really want to keep those leaves nice and white. All right, so those, that's what's in, um, in bloom. I showed you my new orchids. Now I want to talk a little bit to you guys about um, this giveaway that I'm doing, which I'm so excited. And I hope everybody that lives in the US, and I have to stress that, um, you guys, I'm sorry for those that watch from um, all over the world. I really wish that I can do a giveaway that includes everybody, but unfortunately, uh, you know, they don't, it's really hard to ship plants out, and especially for these growers, I guess it's really hard for them too. So imagine for me to ship something out internationally, it's, it's gonna be a nightmare. So hopefully one day I can do a giveaway that includes everybody, but for now, this giveaway is gonna be for US residents. All right, so, um, as you know, or those that don't know, um, I've teamed up with Sunset Valley Orchids, which they are awesome. I love Carlos. Um, I've never met Fred, which is the owner, but hopefully one day I will. So they teamed up with me and they're gonna ship you guys two winners, um, uh, either a catacetum or, uh, and, or and a catlea. So you guys are gonna get two orchids in that giveaway. Uh, not sure exactly which ones they're gonna choose, but they're gonna choose them for you. Uh, it's gonna be a probably catacetum and a catlea. And I have to tell you that their catacetums are amazing. I love them. I mean, the first time I met Carlos, which was in January at Tamiami, I bought my first catacetum and they're growing and they grow so fast. I mean, aside from the fact that they grow so fast, I just love the foliage. I mean, this just makes like a beautiful, just makes like a beautiful plant. I mean, it's, it's awesome when it's not in dormancy and it just starts growing, it really grows like super fast. So they do take um, a lot of water and they do take their heavy feeders. So just make sure that they're fed. Um, you know, I normally feed them with a heavy feed and I give them water constantly. And huh, all right, so that's Sunset Valley Orchids and this is about to bloom for me. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. And I'm excited about that. I hope that whoever wins, you know, you guys enjoy your orchids and please share them um, on, in on Instagram. I have, I'm very engaged in Instagram. I mean, I was actually, I'm um, actually helping somebody this morning with their dendrobiums, Carlo, and I hope that uh, that dendrobium, it's gonna do good. I mean, it's, it's getting a little bit of something going on at the root tip, at the, uh, at the leaf tip, but I'm sure it'll, it'll do good. So on Instagram, I am very involved. If you guys have any questions or you guys wanna share any pictures with me, just go on Instagram and share them because I am always on there just answering um, and helping you guys out. All right. An issue that I wanted to um, talk about today um, is about crown rot. And if you guys have not seen Rick L's latest video on the myths and um, everything that is going on with orchids, I mean, go watch that. It's very great. It's very informative. Um, so I wanted to um, address the issue of crown rot, not um, on the potted orchids, because those potted orchids hi gladys good morning i see you guys tuning in so um potted orchids um as you know i prefer to put my fowls out on my palms and i get a lot of questions of people just constantly asking me if they're okay out there or to put them to put them upside down so they don't get crown rot so i have to tell you and you know that i will tell you my 100 percent, my most honest 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 answer i want it, i like to be as honest with you guys as possible whatever i experience is what i'm going to share with you so i have to tell you that in the five years or almost five years that i've been putting attaching my phalaenopsis orchids to my all right so i'm not sure if you guys can see me okay you're back so hello jamaica so um i do attach my orchids all of my orchids ex with the exception of my dendrobium nobles because they're very heavy they're very top heavy i put them on my palm right side up and I have, like I said, I have never experienced any crown rot at all. So I have to tell you that uh, Rick L's video um, made a lot of sense. A lot of people disagree with him, uh, which is fine. Everybody's gonna have their own opinions, but I can vouch for what I do and I do, and I can tell you that um, as far as crown rot on orchids, it doesn't happen in my yard. So I would just wanted to address that. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, Rick L, he's 
amazing. Now he's doing these drawings, which are awesome, and they actually make me understand. So he's really big on calcium. I, I agree with everything he says because, like I, you guys know, I am still a beginner, and you know he makes a lot of sense in everything he speaks about. I don't add calcium to my mix because I'm. I hope that my 2020 has enough. Um, I do do the Epsom salt and the seaweed kelp. So right now everything's going good. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. But wanted to let you guys know about that. So any crown rod issues, anything, any issues you have, go visit Rick L. He is like a genius. All right. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys that I'm so excited. Um, I actually uh, took off. I actually took off my staghorn from my palm. I made a video. I want to um, share that with you guys. I was going to put it up today, but I think it's just going to be too much uh, since you guys, you, know, you guys are on here watching my Tuesday Live. So that's going to go on tomorrow. So anybody that wants to uh, see how I do that, I did a whole video, and it's, I think it came out really nice. I had a helper, and I'm excited about that. And I want, I want to also thank you guys. Uh, if I wouldn't have posted that, um, that picture, which... You guys, I'm still a beginner. You know, maybe you guys laughed at me because I didn't know what a staghorn fern was, but um, I posted a video and I was like, what is this lettuce thing growing on my palm that Bang Jong has for sale all over the place and they sell it for like 40 bucks? Like, what is this? So, of course, you guys commented and educated me. And I was, uh, then I went to go see Ben at Bang Jong. Okay, and I'm frozen again. Can you guys see me? Because on my end, I'm frozen. Okay. So um, until I don't unfreeze, I don't know if you guys are seeing me, but I went to go visit um, Ben at Bang Jong, and he told me, yeah, can you see me? Because I'm frozen. I'm like frozen with his funny face. <laughs> All right. So I went to go visit uh, Ben at Bang Jong, and he did tell me that I have the best conditions and that they just grew, and that's awesome to so just... Um, Either, either take it off, either take it off and put it somewhere bigger or put it on a mount. So I decided to put it somewhere where it's gonna have more space. So anyway, that video is gonna go up uh, tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it tonight and put it up tomorrow. All right, hi Maria. Do you guys, yeah, can you, okay, so you guys can hear me, but I'm very frozen. Why am I frozen? Okay, so somebody's seeing me, some people are seeing me, some people are hearing me. I cannot see what I'm doing in the screen. I just see myself frozen. You see, this has never happened. All right, so, uh, so that's what's going on with my staghorn. And like I said, uh, you guys are amazing. This is why I love this channel so much because you guys help me out. You know, not just, you know, it works both ways. I help some people and you guys help me out a lot. All right, so I'm still frozen on my end. So I'm just gonna keep talking. It's very distracting because I see myself like, and that's all I'm doing. All right, guys. So um, let's see. Rain. Uh, the rain is kind of getting a little annoying, even though uh, I, you know, I love the rain, but it's just raining nonstop every day. <laughs> and another, uh, that goes back to my crown rot topic. You know, if you put your orchids out in the rain, just let them dry out a little bit. I do. I let them dry out under my terrace completely, and then I put them away. So don't put them away while they're still soaked. Yeah, so you guys are still hearing me. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm still frozen. Uh, let's see what else I wanna talk to you guys. You guys, my event is getting filled up really quickly. That's gonna happen August 3rd. And I have many people signing up for the tour. So if you guys are interested in doing the tour on Friday, I will take you everywhere. I will have you meet all the, all the, um, the owners of these amazing orchid um, nurseries in my area and it's gonna be fun so that event's happening august 3rd and it's very annoying that i'm still frozen so i don't want to just i don't want to walk around with my camera because you're not going to be able to see let me see if i i move it oh how annoying why does this happen why am i frozen okay well, guys well uh so that event is good so if you guys um, want to be part of that the um event bright uh, link is, um, I'm going to put it down at the bottom of this video. It's on the bottom of all my other videos. So if you like, you guys would like to be part of that, that's going to be fun. It's filling up quick. So I'm excited about that. And that's it. I can see your comments. I can't see anything else. I don't know if you guys can see me still, but I'm still frozen on my end. So if you have anything to, 
if you have anything to tell me, just, I know you guys are hearing me. Hi, I'm glad you're hearing me from North Carolina, but not seeing me. So if you guys have any other questions, leave them here. I mean, there's not much to see just to hear my voice. Um, this is terrible. This is why sometimes these live feeds are so frustrating. I know that um, Maria Young in Orlando has a problem and she, with her live feed because she doesn't get any reception. And that's why she doesn't do it as often. And I hope this is not like a trending thing that I get frozen because it's very annoying. So. Uh, anyways, you guys, any other questions? I can't walk you around because I'm frozen. But if you have any other questions, let me know. If not, I will go and I will post that video tomorrow. So hopefully you guys watch. Very exciting. Um, very exciting. I know. I don't know what, what is frozen. I'm frozen. Uh, very exciting that I was able to remove that. And I, I'm so happy that those staghorns grow in my yard like out of nothing. So that's it. You guys, I can't take this frozen stuff. So I will see you guys soon. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. And thank you for hearing me. And thank you for watching the beginning of my, of my chat. Hope everybody has a wonderful Tuesday. And see you soon.